So here we have, there's our governor housing. Here we have our gasket material. And obviously the first thing to do is to set this down, set the housing on top of it, find it, you know, where it best fits and then trace around it. That's obvious. And mark your holes too. One thing that I think, I don't know, maybe this is common knowledge, but one thing that I think is easy, um, here's the gasket that I've, you know, I've traced and I've cut it out. And one thing that I've found is really easy to do the holes is to just use a pair of uh, hole punchers and then just kind of mark your hole and then just nibble around the hole with your with your um, hole punchers. And it does a pretty good job at getting you a good round hole. In the past I tried to use a utility knife and it doesn't work that great. Now for the, so now we have our gaskets and also our holes. Oh, one thing to make sure of, lots of times with this gasket it's interesting because yeah, you have the holes where it bolts onto the tractor right here, but then you also have, sometimes you have these oil passage holes like right here. And so be sure that you're getting all of the holes when you're making your own gaskets. You don't want to, uh, to keep oil from getting someplace where it's supposed to be getting. Now, um, so we have this right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to try to outline the inside of where we need to cut. And the way that I've done that in the past is basically line your gasket up right there and then using a hammer, very lightly tap around and then it will make a mark where the gasket is supposed to, where, where you're supposed to cut. I'll show you how to do that. Let me set up the camera on the tripod. So, here we go. I've set my gasket over the top of my housing and now just kind of holding it in place, making sure that my hole, bolt holes line up. Taking my hammer, just very, very lightly tapping around the perimeter of the gasket and along that inner sharp edge, when the hammer hits it, it makes a good, makes, it, makes a pretty uh, readable line that you can then follow with your pair of scissors. You can either trace it with a pencil or, you know, with a pair of scissors. And, uh, let's see. Get along this line right here. And you just have to make sure that you're so see if you can see that. You can pretty easily see the inside of where you need to cut. Anyway, that's my, that's how to make a gasket and then I'll cut that out and we'll see if it fits.